For the following exercise, evaluate the function f at the indicated values. First one will be f of negative 3. All right. So what they want us to do here, again, remember, is to find the value of f of negative 3. Okay, so basically I can follow these three steps where I can take this f of negative 3, plug it on in for f of x, and then everywhere I see x on the right-hand side, just plug in my x indicated x value that they told me in the problem. All right, and then just simplify. Fairly straightforward here. So let's do it in steps. I'm going to rewrite the original function. f of x is equal to radical 2 minus x plus 5. Okay, so now the where they want us to evaluate it now is f of negative 3. So I substitute that on in for my f of x. And now anywhere on the right-hand side I have an x, I'm going to plug in the value of negative 3. So this is 2 minus now negative 3 plus 5. That's it. Step 2 and then last is just to simplify, right? So this is easy. So this is a square root now, right, of, of uh, 2 minus a negative 3 is going to be added together. So this is radical 5 plus 5. And that's all. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, so radical 5 plus 5. There's your answer for number one. All right. Now number two, same process. Let's rewrite the formula or the equation that they told us, radical 2 minus x, and this is plus 5. So now they want us to evaluate it at f of 2. So take f of x, substitute it out for f of 2. Now everywhere on the right-hand side you see an x, plug in your 2. Okay, so this is f of 2. And obviously 2 minus 2 is 0, radical 0 is just 0. And then 0 plus 5 is just 5. Not bad at all, right? Let's take a look at the next one. So again, rewrite the function. So this is 2 minus x plus 5, or rewrite the equation, right? We'd have to test whether this is a function by using the vertical line test. So the next question there, uh, the next one they want us to evaluate it at is f of negative a. Now don't, don't worry, okay? This is done exactly how you've been doing it before. It's just instead of a number, it's a letter, but who cares, right? So everywhere you see x on the right-hand side, substitute in the indicated x value on the left, which is negative a. So this is going to be 2 minus negative a plus 5. And just, you know, combining some terms here, simplifying some of the signs, this would just be 2 plus a plus 5. And that's all I can do, right, in terms of my simplification. So that's the answer for number 3. Take a look at number four. All right, so now number four, rewrite the expression. So radical two minus x plus five. Now they want us to substitute in negative fa. Hmm. So basically what they're telling us is they want us to take this function and first negate it, right? Find the negative of it, okay? So that's the first thing they want us to do. And then, so actually let me, let me just do this part first. So basically, whenever they tell you now to plug in a negative f instead of positive f here, what you do is on the right-hand side, just plug in a negative value and then put a little bracket because what you're going to do is essentially they're telling you make this whole thing negative. Okay, they want to find the negative of, of f of x. And if they want to find the negative of this and it is equal to this whole thing, they want us to find the negative of this whole thing. All right. So that's what we do, and then everything goes about as planned, right? So now, instead of f of x, it's just a in there. And now everywhere you see x on the right-hand side, you plug in your a value, and that's it, right? Now we can simplify if we can, and we can just do a little simplification here, right? It'd be negative, actually, I mean, we could probably even leave it, but if you wanted to distribute the negative sign, it'd be uh, negative radical 2 minus a minus 5, and that's fine if you wanted to do it that way. Great. Last but not least, let's do number five. So again, rewrite the function f of x equals radical two minus x plus five. Now they want us to evaluate it at f of a plus h. No worries, right? No worries. We follow the process, trust the process. This thing is now just a plus h, but who cares if it's three, four, 10 million, a plus h, it doesn't matter. The process is the same. Wherever I see x on the right-hand side, I'm now going to substitute this thing in for it. So it just becomes now radical 2 minus parenthesis. Make sure you put in your parenthesis, though. I always, I really always like to do that. I realize I, I didn't, I should have done it over here. I didn't need it, but 
I should really be very consistent here and I should have plugged in a parenthesis up over here too, all right? It'll minimize any chance for mistakes. So this is a plus h and that's then plus five. And now you're just gonna simplify if you can, all right? So this, I mean, we'll just distribute the negative sign. So it's two minus a minus h, all right? And then just plus five. And there's nothing else I can do there in terms of simplification. And that is that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, help us out, hit the like button. All right, we, uh, we hope you find these videos helpful. Take care.